there's literally nothing more um, messed up than someone who's aging, getting towards the endings of their life, and you try to tell them about how God is the only way. They have to believe in God, um, repent of their sins, acknowledge Christ as the only way to get to heaven. And they just, they react so strongly to it. It's literally the reasoning for why they react strongly is because of demons, except they, they literally, they'll, they'll go nuts. Like they'll, they'll basically, uh, they'll be threatening to call the police on you. They'll, they like literally it should be it should be kind of a wake up to them that they've never reacted this strongly about any other topic except for when god of the bible gets brought up the real god like everyone knows it people pretend like oh people pretend like um christianity and the bible god is just another religion when in fact nobody actually treats it like that you know if you mention how you've just gotten into some sort of um, Eastern meditation practice slash religion and how you're really into it and you're telling them like, oh, you got to get into this. This is how you should be living your life. And you hound them on it. They're not going to react badly to it. They're literally going to, they might chuckle because they know it's garbage just as well as anyone can unless they get possessed and feel the supposed power when in reality it's just a demon entering them making them feel some type of way and it'll do that because as long as the person's living like this they'll just go to hell at the end of their life so it's basically a horrible deception that they were in that they can't come out of but the truth is being told you know all i'm basically just trying to put another voice out there of someone who's telling everyone the truth, Jesus Christ is the only way, Jesus Christ is Lord. You have to make him the Lord of your life. Do everything every day um, through the lens of, okay, is this how I want to be living? Like, is that okay? You know, it's not, it's, that's how you should be living, you know? A lot of people um, try to, they uh they don't like the idea of there being god guess what god fixed my ankle hmm? it's pretty kind and my words aren't going to do any justice to what i'm trying to say about that but you know god cares and through that happening you know i can definitely say that i'm at least called to make videos that's the least i could do you know, so from whatever I can get into talking about, whoever it will help, just by knowing that there's somebody else out there who has found the truth, and yeah, it's the truth. Um, you know, that's why I want to be making these videos. You know, life, like, I can already see, basically, in my mind that you know, you start out your life, people, people try to create these storylines and arcs about how they started off one way and they were just this little kid in like young grade school and it was so humble beginnings and, you know, didn't have much just because you're a little kid who doesn't have much of anything because you can't really have your own phone or whatever. You're a certain little age, but, um, and then they, they try to create this, like, storyline of their, like, coming up through life and getting to a better position. But it's like, no, nothing happened. You just, you just, uh, ex you just went through the aging process that God has set out for human beings. Okay? Everyone's legs, they grow basically at the same rate. Yeah, there's leg length discrepancies. That's a thing. Except, on average, everyone's legs are growing at the exact same rate. It's not like, oh, some people's legs grow a little bit longer on one side. It totally messes up their ability to, to walk and run. Nope. It's 
it works out perfectly. The human body is built by God, um, the perfect living machine, the machine, but you know, um, you know, everything works out perfectly. Um, we're made in the image of God. Like, it's not hard to see, except that's the thing. Like, a lot of people believe something that doesn't make sense. And that's why there's kind of a cap on intelligence for someone who doesn't believe in God, it seems like to me. Um, I mean, they can kind of live in a made-up uh, idea of why they're here and what's going on around them and the meanings to everything, but there's a cap on how smartly you can live your life that way, you know? Um, everyone basically does the same thing. Everyone basically just needs food, water, shelter, and a lot of people then just try to assign meaning to why they're here and why out my window I can see, you know, trees, you know, like just the fact that I'm here making a video to you should prove that it's not because of evolution. It's because we are placed here by God, you know, like the synchronicity of the world we live in should be proof, just like it says in the Bible, uh, there is no excuse. Um, you know, in nature, you can see um, that it's a created environment that we all live in. Um, so, yeah. But believe me, uh, you'll meet a lot of people that don't believe in God. And anyone can be deceived that way to that you know, persuasion, but, uh, you know, it's kind of your responsibility to, uh, put in a little bit of thought instead of totally just going along with whatever way of, um, thought processes, even if your parents don't, um, believe in God, you have to, uh, you have to kind of, uh, take their stance on the world they live in with a bit of a grain of salt and not just follow it because your soul is technically your own responsibility. Uh, but yeah, we're all a family, brothers and sisters in Christ. So, you know, it's not like you're alone in this life, in this mission uh, of... Uh, you know, days throughout life. But, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll end it there and, uh, on to the next one.